everyone, how's it going? Vasco here from the Angular Academy. In this lesson we are going to learn the template syntax for events, we are going to learn how components can output custom events. Coming right up. What we want to do here is to add a click handler to the clear button. So when the user types something in the search box and clicks clear, that value is erased. To do that, let's add a click handler using the parentheses syntax. So inside the parentheses, we can specify the event to which we want to respond. In this case, the click event. This could be mouse down, mouse up, mouse over, key down, key up, or any standard DOM event. In order to clear the input box, we are going to pass it as a reference inside the clear method. For that, we need to give it a name and we can do that using the hashtag syntax. So hashtag box assigns the name box to the input. To clear the value of the input, we just assign the empty string value to the input box. Let's see this in action. If we type something in the search box and we now click clear, the value is deleted. Now let's say that our component search box has an output event called search which is the content of the search box whenever the user types on it and presses enter. Other components that are interested in receiving the latest search will subscribe to this custom event. To create custom events, we need an output event emitter. We can create one in our component by creating an event emitter instance and annotating it with the at output decorator. Now let's start by detecting when a new search is available. To implement this, let's start by detecting the key down event on the input box and specifically the enter key. And remember this syntax because we are going to need it in an upcoming exercise. Now when the user clicks enter while typing on the input box, we are going to trigger an on search method and we are going to pass it in the value of the input box. For the moment, let's just output it to an alert box to see this in action. If we now type something in the search box and press enter, then the alert box will be displayed. What we want to do now is, instead of showing an alert box, we want to generate an output event. For that, we simply use the emit method of event emitter and we pass it in the value of the new search. Now, a component that is interested in subscribing to this uh, output event will use the same syntax used for DOM events. So, with parentheses, we are going to subscribe to the search output event. And the name of the event is determined by the name of the output event emitter property. Let's add an event handler to the search event. When a new search is available, we are going to trigger the onSearch method and we are going to pass it in the value of the last search. And we have it available in $Event. $Event contains whatever we have passed to the event when we triggered it via the emit method. To see this in action, let's simply take the output of the custom search event and output it to an alert box. So the alert box will contain the value of the search when the user pressed enter. Now, this is the tip that we mentioned in the beginning of the lesson. Take a look at this syntax in TypeScript with the back ticks and strings. This is called a string literal and we can output variables in the body of the string using the dollar curly brace syntax. If we now type on the search box and click enter, we can see that the output of the search box shows in the alert box as expected. We now know how to handle events in Angular 2 and how to create our own custom events. Next, we are going to see how we can organize our component templates, how can we add CSS styles to the components, and we are going to see a larger example with a more complex component tree. Everything coming right up. 